In the early 1800s, life as people knew it changed dramatically. The idea of the employer and the worker was born. The discovery of steam and hydropower meant the invention of machines, which made people leave working on the land to work in factories. People who owned land and factories realized they could hire men, women and children to use machines to produce more and more goods, allowing them to make more and more profit. Workers were expected to spend long hours working for very little pay, in very unhealthy conditions. This outraged workers who formed unions or associations to protest and fight for government regulations that would limit the workday and enforce minimum wages. On the 1st of May, 1886, workers in Chicago went on a general strike to limit the working day to eight hours. Every year after this, workers would unite in solidarity and demonstrations would be held around the world, demanding social justice, human rights, and fair working conditions. In South Africa, trade unions became essential to the fight for democracy and human rights of the working class. Unions were formed in many sectors, such as health, education, mining, manufacturing and transport. Today, these unions bargain in their sectors for the rights of their workers to decent working conditions, a living wage, fair dispute resolution, a healthy and safe working environment, and other workplace rights. To strengthen their voice, unions come together to form a greater collective force, demanding cross-sectoral or universal rights and working conditions. Together they form an organization such as the Federation of Unions of South Africa. FEDUSA represents its unions and its members at the national level, where it lobbies government and parliament to recognize the needs of workers when making decisions. Government, labor and business regularly come together at NEDLAC, the National Economic Development and Labor Council to engage in social dialogue. Here, the three constituencies, sometimes joined by community organizations, come together to make collaborative decisions on national policy and legislation, future pathways for economic growth, and the decent work agenda. While business wishes to drive growth and profit, and government must ensure delivery of services and the well-being of their citizens, organized labor protects the livelihoods and basic conditions of the working class and promotes job creation for better lives. As a labor federation, FEDUSA bears responsibility for leading its members on a daily basis towards these ideals. At the international level, FEDUSA works with its umbrella body, the International Trade Union Confederation and the UN Agency, International Labor Organization, to promote the labor standards and decent work for all. What is integral to the Federation is that its leaders are not only elected, but they are mandated specifically by the members of affiliated trade unions, making the Federation relevant and central to each individual. FEDUSA is also unique for its party political independence. That means our members can support any political party and still be a valued part of the Federation. This allows the Federation to drive change in South Africa without the constraints of political alignment, free of party political interference. In a vibrant democracy such as ours, with so many different values, priorities and demands, it can be hard to be heard above the crowd. But FEDUSA recognizes that shouting won't bring about long-term social change. FEDUSA, therefore, prides itself in being the alternative voice of labor. Instead of just laying down demands, we petition. Instead of laying blame, we choose to be accountable. Instead of expecting rights to be upheld, we take responsibility for the democracy. Through social dialogue, we can achieve collaborative solutions to improve our country and our lives. FEDUSA is also committed to ensuring that no single worker is discriminated against due to gender, race, ability, orientation, language, or any other part of their identity. Instead of dividing people based on these things, we unite to influence or challenge injustice in the workplace or our communities. We value equality. FEDUSA makes it a priority to campaign for the rights and equal treatment of vulnerable groups such as women, people with disabilities, the disenfranchised and unemployed, migrant labor and domestic workers, to name but a few. 
we recognize that each and every South African deserves the right to earn a decent living, provide for themselves and their family, and have a say in the political management of our precious country. Today, we also recognize the urgent need to support our young people. Youth in South Africa are faced with a failing education system and a severe lack of job opportunities. FEDUSA promotes a number of interventions to make the future a brighter one for our youth through job seeker databases, learnerships and apprenticeships, and CV and interview workshops. Most importantly, FEDUSA lobbies government and business to provide employment opportunities specifically for young people and first-time job seekers. We believe that a training-based wage subsidy is needed to incentivize the private and public sector to create jobs for the youth, but also hold them responsible for adequately training and upskilling the young people they employ. The union environment and the job market is also changing. FEDUSA also aims to stay up to date with technological changes affecting the way we do business and how we relate to our members. We welcome engagement from our members on critical issues affecting your daily lives. So follow us on Twitter, join our Facebook group, or sign up for our newsletter or blog. In this young democracy, FEDUSA exists as a mechanism through which each and every one of its workers can have their say in the future of their country and their own lives. Alone, a worker may not have a chance to change his or her daily life, the circumstances of their family, or the working environment in which they spend a large part of their lives. Through a union, however, each worker is given the opportunity to be heard by the employer, his fellow workers and the working community. Through a federation, each and every worker is given the mechanism through which his or her contribution can be placed on the table before ministers, CEOs and the political leaders of South Africa. Be part of the Federation of Unions of South Africa. Viva Fadusa! Let your voice be heard.